everyone, I'm Allison. I'm a developer marketing manager here at Observable. In this short video, I'm gonna show you how you can quickly get started with an Observable Framework project, how you can start making edits to project pages, and how you can see the changes that you're making in live preview. To get started, first I'm gonna switch over to wherever I want this project to live. I'll put mine in my development directory. Then I'm gonna run npm init at Observable HQ. You could also use yarn commands here, which we describe in our getting started tutorial, which we'll link to in the description below. Running this command is gonna bring up a series of prompts to help me get started. The first is where do I wanna create my project? I'm gonna create it right within that development directory, but I'm gonna call it my awesome project. Then I'm asked what I want the title to be. I'm gonna stick with this default that's derived from that project directory name I specified above. And then ask this nice question, do I want to include some sample files to help me get started? I think this is really nice because it's going to provide an example report and an example dashboard, each made in a markdown file when I create this project. That means that I'll have something to tinker and test in instead of starting from a blank slate. And then asked if I want to install dependencies, I'm going to choose yes via NPM, which is recommended for me here. Then there's this final question, do I want to initialize a Git repo? I'm gonna choose no, but since this is just a directory containing files that constitutes my framework project, I can always create this repo later on using git init, using the same git workflows that I'm already used to. So after I've completed these prompts, then my project is getting created. And I could go ahead and explore it here, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start making edits in VS Code. You could work in whatever editor you're happiest working in. So I'll go ahead and open VS Code and then navigate to this project. So I'm gonna open in that development directory, my awesome project, and what I'll see are the files that already exist there. You can see there's infrastructure already created that we can edit. But what we're gonna focus on today is what's in this docs subfolder. And most importantly, where our different pages are created. Each of our different pages is created in an individual markdown file. The home page in index.md, and then we have these two report and dashboard examples that we could play with. But how do I know what this actually looks like? We're gonna go ahead and open up our live preview so we can see it. I'm gonna open a new terminal here and I'm gonna run the command npm run dev. You could also use yarn dev here. And this is gonna open up my live preview where I can see what my pages actually look like. So here I see my home page that's created in index.md. And you can also see if you expand the sidebar that my example report and example dashboard also live here. Now what's really cool about working in Framework is you can also see changes as you're making them in your editor. So if I switch back over to VS Code, and I'm gonna only take up half the screen so we can see both, then I'm gonna make a really obvious change so we can see that that change shows up instantly in this live preview. And that's gonna be that I'm gonna update this hero text, hello observable framework to hello friends. To do that, I'm gonna open index.md, and then I'll scroll down to where that text is added here, and I will change this to hello friends. Now on save, I can see that instantly that change is also revealed in the live preview, which means that as I'm iterating in my local editor, I can also see what my pages are actually gonna look like. So you can see that really quickly, we can get started creating observable framework pages. We can make edits to those pages in whatever editor we choose. And we could also see the changes that we're making in live preview. So come back soon, we'll be adding more Observabytes on how you can customize your framework pages and also how you can quickly deploy to Observable.